Hey everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is actually my first video and I thought I should probably give you a little bit of sort of background and like the kind of videos you should expect from me. So I um, moved out into a house with my boyfriend last year and we're currently still in the process of creating like a home um, and yeah my videos will probably be all to do with like home um, shopping hauls like homeware hauls clothes hauls because that's just what I love and things that I kind of quite like watching so I thought other people would probably hopefully like <laughs> like watching them um but yeah that is kind of what to expect from me and more sort of vlog style and quite chilled and probably unedited because I don't really know how you do that yet <laughs> um but I'm gonna kick it off with my first video being a B&M haul so I absolutely love like B&M and home bargains they are probably my favorite shops especially right now um, and I've been into B&M, I've been into three B&Ms all around over the last couple of weeks and I've dragged my boyfriend with me each time. Um, he's probably cursing me because I'm just spending all our money on house stuff. <laughs> but um, I'm going to start with the kind of boring ishy stuff, depending on who you ask. Um, but in B&M I've got one of these, this is the pink stuff um, stain remover, yeah. <laughs> quite boring but obviously you need it for washing and I decant this into I've got like little glass jars with you know like bamboo lids that I think everyone's got um but I decant them in, into that and then I've also got the Lenore scent boosters this scent is probably my favorite it's the um country garden Mrs Hinch range and oh, I just love it um, so I've already got a couple of these, but I thought I would add this into my little pot of it as well. They're pink as well, so they look really pretty on my worktop. <laughs> and then um, I got a couple of curtains. So this is um, a, like, a bit late, obviously, since we bought our house to be getting curtains. We moved in in August. We're now in May. Um but it's just it's been a process <laughs> it's not been like a renovation project and it's not a new build house so we've taken our time in picking things um well i've taken my time in picking the things that we want but for the two upstairs like bigger bedrooms i didn't know what kind of color scheme we were going to go for um still don't really know so we've got black curtains <laughs> and the rooms are both this sort of gray shade i don't know if you can really tell um which i think is Dulux Chic Shadow. I think that's the colour of the walls. Um, so I just thought I would go for black curtains. So these are just B&M, um, what they called Oxford Blackout Eyelet Curtains. Um, Blackout, we'll see. I'm not sure if they will be, but they were £25. Um, I found it so hard buying curtains for a house to get the right um, width and drop. But um, these are hopefully right, and I'm hoping, because it's bank holiday weekend at the moment, that um jack's dad is going to come and help us put them up because we're not that big on diy <laughs> but yeah this says warm in the winter and cool in the summer apparently it redu reduces noise levels and totally blocks out light we'll see about that but i thought 25 pound for a set of curtains isn't too bad so i've got them for both the upstairs bedrooms so i've got two packs um but yeah i'm hoping they will go up today actually <laughs> And then I've got curtain poles. These aren't actually from B&M. These are actually from B&Q. Sorry, I always get them confused. And this is going to be near impossible to show you what they look like. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. But it's got like a crystal, I don't know if you can really see, like a crystal ball at the end of it. And um, they're both the same. And they're the same as we've got for our living room downstairs as well. Because, yeah, I just wanted all the curtain poles to match. I thought that would be quite good. This one is something less exciting because it's not actually for me. Um, this is for Jack. It's £3.50 and it's just like a little cream planter. Um, we got this because for Christmas my parents bought Jack some Grow Your Own Chilies because he loves chilies. And he went to grow them in my loaf tin recently. And yeah, obviously that just wasn't going to work. So we've got him a little planter that we're going to sort that out today as well. Well, that's my plan anyway, sort it out today. Then I got this cute little velvet um, light shade. So this is for one of the rooms. It's like a pink sort of theme. 
um so i just got this so i need to put that up as well because at the moment it's just got like the light bulb hanging which is great because it's like really bright but obviously doesn't look as good then what have we got this cupboard organizer so recently we bought one of these for putting like plates in the corner of the cupboard um so this i got with the idea of putting because on here it shows like mugs and stuff um so i'm hoping that that will work for those and um, just because i've got really into watching like um mrs hinch and stacy solomon recently my boyfriend keeps taking the mac out of me for it but um yeah trying to just organize everything and make sure everything feels like tidy and organized and has a home um so yeah i got this oh maybe knock myself out which was four pound from vnm and then did you know that some vegetables you shouldn't keep in the fridge because i didn't <laughs> i knew like potatoes you don't usually keep in the fridge um but things like peppers and onions we've always just kept in the bottom drawer of our fridge but again i think it was on mrs hinch's one of her highlights i saw um that she was organizing things in a pantry including those like vegetables so i've got some stackable baskets i think jack actually picked these out um we seem to quite like this urban is it urbanist range um we've got a few bits from there because our theme of our kitchen is like black cream and sort of that woody neutral vibe so we've got three of these and they just i hope i'm gonna be able to do it just stack on like that and there is a third one to go on top but i thought we could put like potatoes and onions and peppers and stuff in that um and yeah have it out because our kitchen we've got quite a decent sized kitchen actually for a first house so i don't mind things being on the side and it means there's more space in the fridge for other stuff so yeah they were five pound each try and stack them up again and then right this is a little bit random well i don't think it's random but jack laughed at me when i got this i'll grab it i've already given it its use but i got this basket to put our toilet rolls in because i just thought it looked better <laughs> um we had been using like when we buy our toilet rolls i'm a bit of a bargain hunter so i always like bulk buy and we've been buying 32 toilet rolls at a time there is only two of us living here but um 32 toilet rolls and i didn't have anywhere to store them because our bathroom is also not done we need to renovate the bathroom basically um, so we've just had the packet of toilet rolls on the landing and it just looks really ugly. So I thought, get a cute little toilet roll basket. And I really like the colours of like the natural, well, I'm calling this natural, that's what I think it is. And like the creaminess. Um, so yeah, I think they actually look really, really cute. So that was my purchase that Jack was like, what the hell? But I don't care. And then I've got this. I don't actually have a use for it yet. Um, but I just thought it was really cute. So it's just like a white basket with a wooden handle. Um, but initially, well, no, initially I did get this because my friend is actually moving into a flat that she's bought. Re like she's bought it recently, but she's moving in soon. Um, and I was going to create her, well, I am going to create her a hamper of bits um, for moving in. And I was going to put them in this basket, but it's actually not that big um, that I've already run out of space. So i'm not going to give her that but yeah i need to find a use for this basket but i think it looks really cute so i got them anyway so i've got two of those but um this is kind of her color scheme so she is quite fussy on colors like believe me we took forever looking for some plates for her i thought i was fussy but no um but her kind of color scheme is like white and natural and like sagey green so i have got her i'm going to show you this this basket that's got like heart shaped handles that I thought looks really cute um and I've just done her like a little hamper um and filled it up with some some bits so like we were going to do a cleaning shop together um but we haven't done that yet so I've just got like a few bits in there but the basket is eight pound and it's from the vans or van range I'm not sure how you say that but in there, I've got her some of the Lenore scent boosters in Pink Blossom. Um, the Mrs. Hinch Pink Tulips and White Jasmine Spray. This is so nice. I bought it for her and then I got a bit jealous. So I sprayed it and was like, no, I'm keeping that. <laughs> and so I had to buy her another one. Then I've got her just a little photo frame because 
I thought it's white, even though she's fussy, you cannot go wrong with white. If you can, I don't know what to do. Um, as a flora, because you can never go wrong with the flora. And I just got the linen fresh scent because again, I thought it's not like an acquired taste. Everyone loves linen. Um, these wax melts, I bought these myself and I didn't have the highest of expectations, but they're actually really nice. Um, they're vanilla and amber wood and they were £1.50. Um, but yeah, I really, really like them and I keep burning mine at the moment. Then I got her a minky kitchen pad. I know it seems a little bit boring, but it's the kind of thing you don't want to buy for yourself, but obviously you have to have cleaning products. Um, and then I believe these are like toilet thingies. I don't know what they're actually called. They're the Astonish ones. Astonish ones? Yeah. Um, in pink peony. They say foam and fresh. I don't really ever understand how these foam, but yeah, I got her a couple of them. So I'm just building up her hamper with like a few little sort of cleaning-y like moving in bits so I'll get some flowers as well but it's coming along oh I can't really show you without it all going everywhere no um but yeah that's basically her moving in present and I actually think that is everything that I got I'm trying to think yeah that's everything that I got so yeah I hope you like looking through what I bought from B&M I absolutely love B&M Honestly, being and Home Bargains, I just live for them. Um, but yeah, hopefully there will be a few more videos like this because especially at the moment, we're really trying to knuckle down and sort the house out. As I said, curtains haven't been up. I've only just ordered a bed. We've been just on a mattress for the last however many months. Um, but yeah, the house is really starting to come together now. So I'm sure I will be doing a few more videos with like updates and stuff like that. Um, I was going to start this YouTube channel actually when we moved in um, and for whatever reason I didn't but I do wish that I'd managed to document the whole journey rather than just sort of as it is now but um, anyway yeah so I'm sure you will see me again soon with another probably B&M haul or something along those lines um, but yeah I hope everyone has a lovely weekend and I will see you soon.